Hi there. In this video, we'll learn how to add a spin focus blur to our image to accentuate it a little in Photoshop. So let's get started. As you can see, we already have a nice image opened in Photoshop. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a duplicate. And for that, right click the background layer and select duplicate layer. Rename the new layer should you want. I'm going to let it stay as it is and hit OK. With the new layer selected, let's pick the brush tool from the toolbar and ensure that it's a soft round brush and not hard round. Selecting hard round will not produce a nice transition from the blurred area to the protected area of the image. Right now, the brush size is 2700 pixels. So let's see if it is good enough or we need to modify it a little. I think we need to increase the brush size a little. So let's hit the right bracket a few times. And you can see that we've successfully increased it to 3500 pixels now, which should be apt for our image. Our objective is to protect the main subject here and create a nice spin blur all around it to enhance the subject. Let's hit Q, which will activate the quick mask mode. And you can see how the layer also turns pinkish once activated. Now click a few times on the area you want protected from the blur. Ensure that you've covered the area well enough. Once satisfied with your selection, hit Q once again to come out of the quick mask mode. And you shall find the selection signified by the marching ants. So the area outside of the circle we created is the unprotected area which we'll blur now. Let's go to filter and then blur and select radial blur. Unfortunately, there's no preview mode here. Let the blur method be spin and quality be good or you can even try it best if it suits your image. You can also update the blur radius to your liking. I'd keep it to 3 and hit OK. Now for the next step, if you still want to protect the main subject, you can always do that without deselecting it. Or you can hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to deselect the main subject. And that is what I'm going to do. So let's hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC and you'll find the selection gone. By the way, our next step is to add a gradient map to add an effect to our image. So with the same layer still selected, let's go to the adjustment option at the bottom of the layers panel and select gradient map and a gradient map layer will be added to our image. Let's check the reverse box as the image looks much like a negative at this point. Let's also update the blending mode to color. Now click the gradient bar and pick one of the gradients of your choice. I'm going to select reds and pick an option from here and hit OK. Lastly, let's reduce the opacity to about 15 to 20 percent. Had we led the selection as it was, this gradient wouldn't have been applied to the subject. But since we preferred to not protect it from the gradient, it's applied to the entire image. So that's the original image. And that's after applying the spin focus blur to it. Do let me know what you think about it in the comment section. All right, guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.